Hi everyone, I'm Emma. I've taught a few students that have diabetes. Maybe you've got it, or maybe you know somebody that does. If they're happy to talk about it, why not ask them a few questions? You'll learn about it in a much more personal way. But for now, here are the basics. There are two types of diabetes. You need to be able to compare and contrast them. We'll look at what the disorder is, the causes and the treatments. Okay, so in type 1 diabetes, the pancreas doesn't actually produce any insulin. This means that the blood glucose levels can rise to fatally high levels. For the cause of it, we know that it has a genetic element. We also know that it, it tends to start in young children and teenagers. The way we treat it is with insulin injections. No, they're not as big as it looks like in this picture. Okay, these are given before meals, so the insulin is in the blood ready to deal with the increasing blood glucose levels. At the moment, there is no cure for type 1 diabetes. So people with this disorder will have to take insulin injections for the rest of their lives. But there are lots of new advances in how this insulin is administered. Okay, let's look at type 2 diabetes. This is when the pancreas does make insulin, but the body cells just don't respond to it. The main risk factor for type 2 diabetes is obesity, but other factors include old age and a lack of exercise. Treating it then seems a little obvious. People with this disorder need to do more exercise. They also need to eat a carbohydrate controlled diet. Remember, carbohydrates are broken down into glucose. So you need to regulate those to make sure the glucose levels don't rise too high. These are the two main ways to regulate your blood glucose levels and control type 2 diabetes. However, if this isn't working, doctors may resort to drugs. These can influence the cells to be easier able to take up the insulin or for the pancreas to make more insulin. But again, if that really doesn't work, they will resort to insulin injections as well. All right. Let's try some questions. Pause, do them in your head, on some scrap paper, and press play when you're ready to go through them. All right, number one. Name the disorder caused when the pancreas fails to produce enough insulin. This is simply type one diabetes. You can say the number or the word, it doesn't matter. Okay, what is the main risk factor for type two diabetes? It's obesity. How does type two diabetes affect the body? In this case, the body cells are no longer responding to the insulin. And this means the glucose levels can rise really, really high. How can type 2 diabetes be treated? This is with more exercise and a carbohydrate-controlled diet. Both of these will also result in weight loss. Okay, the next question says suggest why insulin is given by injections rather than tablets. The word suggest means you haven't learned this on your specification, but using the knowledge from the whole specification, you should be able to come up with a creative suggestion. Okay, so you know that insulin is a hormone, and hormones are just proteins. What we know about proteins is that they get digested in the stomach. So if you were taking it as a tablet, it would go into your digestive system and get broken down so the insulin would never make it into the blood. Yeah, that's a hard one. <laughs> All right, how did you do? Coming up, you're gonna learn about the hormones that cause puberty. Click here to watch it, and here to subscribe if you found this useful. Thanks and bye.